All right, well, I'm uh, gonna start doing some prep work uh, to get ready to start working on this. But uh, today would all only be some prep work. Uh, get rid of the stuff that's there because that middle board, I'm gonna have to reposition it. And um, yeah, and I'll move stuff I don't know where yet. And put a bit of uh, sorting uh, from those two by fours. So I know what I have and uh, go from there. So right now I'm going to start loading the bucket with some stuff that I'll go place where that little generator shack is. Okay, just want to show you the amount of stuff I have underneath. I don't know if you can see good, but in there I got some good lumber. Those were the four, the old steps I had here on this side when I had the deck. Bunch of 3 8 plywood. More fencing. Old spindles. More fence composite uh, boards, leftover vinyl. I got so many four by fours, it's unbelievable. Bunch of junk under there. A kid's swimming pool with a hose in it. <laughs> so yeah, this is where I need to do a cleanup next, next summer. Just a uh, little video. Uh, show you that I'm doing some work on leveling the gazebo. Um, there is a good difference from the uh, side of the house to the front of the gazebo. And uh, I'm working gradually. This is my second pass now. So I went about, I don't know, half inch at a time. And uh, now I gotta go underneath in the middle to go add more wedges. And uh, that will be it. It did fix my door here going up, but there's still uh, it still rubs on a piece of metal on the frame. So I uh, got to look at that. So gradually but surely. Don't call me Shirley. I also added a uh, two by eight piece uh, of additional blocking so that it can support the uh, little adjustable support here and you can see all the spacers i added when i lifted the uh, gazebo you can see them back there also so now if my door catches i can come down here and do the adjustment well i wasn't supposed to clean up underneath the deck but <laughs> i decided while i'm there I jacked the, uh, the gazebo up the other day. You'll see one of the little videos just before. And now, before I close everything off, I said, might as well go through the pile of junk I got underneath there and all the leaves that accumulated. And that's all bits and pieces, different lengths, full of staples, holes, a pool. And you can see I still have all the lumber stacked up because my goal is to try and find a place to put all of this that I'll have access through the front over there. And maybe to the door over there. So this side, I'd be able to close it completely. A before. Ah, uh, much better. 
That's looking good. As long as I close it up before the leaves for this year start falling. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I'm about done. Everything's been cleared underneath. And I uh, put the uh, vinyl siding there because I'll probably use it once I... Oh. Oops, sorry for the uh, glare. Once I remove this door and reframe it for a window, I'll need some of that siding and J trim and whatever trim trim. And I've added some pieces of wood underneath here so that I can uh, fully put the length of all the boards that I had left over. The plywood, if ever I need to get access to it, I'll be able to do it from that door and um, so this side I will close off completely without making any gates except for maybe a little trap door because I do have a plug there for, for Christmas lights or whatever we want to put in the winter time so I don't know if there'll be too much glare See a lot of the former steps and big pieces of lumber that I have in there. These are the four by fours I'll be using when I frame up. Room for my ladder and even more stuff here. A bunch of stuff here also. And this will be a lumber I'll be using to frame up plus whatever I have in the shed. So, uh, the only spots we'll have will be doors along here and a little door on the side. Uh, further in the back underneath my stairs, I got the foam that I removed that was in front here. And I'll be putting that back in, in position when I'm done. But it's coming along nice. Uh, a bit more work, a bit more prep work. So I've cut down all the uh, two by sixes, all the uh, excess wood that was hanging over on this side. I've even removed um, the old drip edge that I had when we had the deck at the time. Same thing on the front. Drip edge is gone. So now I'll be getting a uh, vinyl drip edge, white. To go over what I'm going to install. I still have some adjusting to do. Cutting down those LVLs to be a bit more behind that joist. But uh, the underneath looks amazing. <laughs> Hasn't looked that nice in a long, long time. So I got all my lumber ready. Plus what I have in the shed. So we'll probably get back at this uh, in a, uh, I think a week or two. All right, well, uh, started doing the uh, removal of the door and I forgot to set you up. So what I basically did is there's four hinges. Uh, I undid three of them kept that top one right there not the top top one but this one I slid the board here and I had my foot here and I was holding on to the door like this and my wife unscrewed the last two screws and then it just sat on this board because I had my foot there and I dragged it inside so uh, now what's left is to remove the trim We've got to go underneath the J trim uh, up there to remove the screws there also. But, uh, and then I'll be ready to uh, start framing about this high. So that we can maybe get a, uh, not another window like this, but uh, just a clear plexiglass with the same width taking some of the trim off inside I'll have some prep work to do there and uh, 
Yeah, so um, let's continue the work. It's progressing. You can see I got the fascia board here temporarily set up. All right, well, uh, I temporarily closed it off with a sheet of 3 8 inch thick plywood. Uh, I did my little wall inside. I'll go show you that after. But uh, now I need to take my measurements and uh, find a place where they uh, cut plexiglass. So uh, let me go show you inside. Well, there's a the little wall. I know I see daylight, but it's temporary. Hopefully we won't get some uh, blowing rain <laughs> coming in sideways. So another day, uh, didn't do much because it's still pretty humid, but uh, I'm uh, going through the thinking process of how I was gonna do my two gates. And I think uh, I got a plan. I think I'll be screwing some sort of 4x4, something similar to this. I know I have the old green ones also underneath the deck that I can pull out. And I'll be using these screws to screw them to my LVL. And that'll be a good, good base to hang my gate to. So I'll have two gates of about 36 and a half wide by 50, 52 high, something like that, 51. And uh, that LVL in the middle will kind of act as my stopper. So uh, yeah, uh, we're getting there, we're moving along. All right, well, I got the uh, two gates built, left and right, and I'll go show so not much here, except I just temporarily screwed in the four by four post. So um, I'll be ready to line up the gate and start putting the uh, fence boards on. Well, first I gotta finish closing in the trim at the top. Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I've gone through a few days there where I did some prep work around my uh, gazebo to close that off. Uh, you saw the gates that I, uh, I made and now I'm at a point where I, um, the 4x4 posts are now secure and I could start laying some of the uh, uh, fence boards. So I started doing one uh, two days ago and the first screw I put in, the board went crack, split. I didn't do a pilot hole, which I should have because that wood is pretty dry. So uh, I'll be pulling out and sorry for the mess, but you know, that's what happens when you're, in my case, when I'm <laughs> working and stuff, I grab everything. So uh, we're, I brought the tractor with my uh, tools in the back. I got the table uh, saw set up for making cuts and uh, I'll go show you uh, uh, what we're gonna be doing today. Hopefully I'll be able to complete, <laughs> hopefully, uh, that first section. Uh, yeah, so I'll pull out a few other tools, my uh, uh, pilot hole uh, bit, and uh, we'll get to working. So uh, thanks for being there. Let's get, let's get the job done. All right. So this is the uh, first board I tried screwing in, and it's split. So I'm starting off with a a full board here so that I can have also a full board here on the gate and I'll have a probably quarter inch space and then I will measure um, how it ends up over there. Uh, I might position the off cut in the center and I'll do the same uh, with the gates if I have a like too much of an overlap, I'll use that cut and try and finish on both ends with a full board. Same with this and same with this section here. So those are the two gates that I built. They should fit. 
with a, a quarter inch gap in between. And uh, yeah, so the boards will sit on top of this and come against this also. So uh, I'm gonna start working on this. I brought some uh, wood preservative to kind of protect my end cuts and uh, go from there. So I will bring you back once I have this section completed. Thanks for being there. All right, well, here's where I'm at uh, for this day. I'm done for today. Uh, so this panel here was covered and I split two boards to fill in the gap of seven inch. I got a filler piece to put there. I got a filler piece to put in here. Another filler piece here. And this is just temporary, so it stays closed. Another filler. And then I have to build uh, some framing to be able to close off this section. So this part will be done. I'm happy how it turned out. It was a, a pain getting these installed and lined up in the proper position and not end up in a spot where I didn't have any nailing. But uh, as you can see here, empty spot there. I might just put the, the screw in anyways. Even if it just sticks out, it's not something we'll hit because there's a two by four that's there. So they open pretty good. So it'll give me a nice opening to go grab stuff underneath or to store more stuff. Those boards are gonna go back into my, uh, my shed. So uh, no, I think it's gonna be uh, a nice finish. Many years uh, <laughs> waiting for it. <laughs> but hey, that's life. It is what it is, right? So, Anyways, so this is it. And uh, I'll catch you when I uh, start working on the other part. Thanks for being there. Okay, well, uh, another day. Uh, I'm getting ready to put some uh, preservative on the uh, cut ends of the boards. I started early this morning. I framed up that area and um, I'm uh, getting ready to put those boards on. Uh, that should be good enough. I'm just wiping the side of the boards. to go in. Uh, it's because it's okay. Okay. Now there's a good overhang, about an inch, and that's okay for now. Uh, once I do this side, I'll try and make it match. If not, at least I got that space I can rip it down. Huh. 
All right. Ta-da.